and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today we're going to jump straight into today's video which is my garage organization. It was a terrible. So I started working on the garage. I felt guilty I wasn't filming it so I ran inside and grabbed my camera. So I'm just going to kind of show you what it's looking like before I get completely into it. Obviously I had pulled a few things off the shelf and had them on the ground but as you can tell it needed some organization at big time. I do want to let you know I spent zero dollars on this. I just used stuff I had around the house, um, what I'd already been using out there. So I wanted to show you guys you can organize with a zero dollar budget. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. So as you can tell, I had tried to organize this before. It wasn't perfect, it's just the system wasn't working at all and I really needed to declutter. So that was my biggest problem in here is I just had too much stuff and not enough space and honestly a lot of it I'm just going to be donating and a lot of it was just a trash. Like I had tons of paint that were old, um, they were dried up. They were rusted. So definitely just take the time to declutter because there's no reason to organize a bunch of stuff that is just trash or you no longer need. So that's definitely the first thing you need to be working on. I walk back to my history, into my own So another tip for you is if you're not gonna buy tons of like beautiful storage bins, which I don't blame you, they can add up. I don't even have a container store near me. Um, it's definitely just display your items out on the shelves. Make them look like they're in the store or even better. So if there's towels, make sure you fold them really pretty or roll them. If you're putting up paints and bottles, make sure you have the label facing forward. Kind of do it by size, do it by color. Um, I like to put all my stuff together, so all my paints together. Um, but definitely just display them if you don't have beautiful bins to put them in and it's going to look just as nice and you can do it without spending any money. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel. So I'm gonna keep leveling up the shelf as we go, but here's what it looks like just by displaying your items really pretty. I also use old drawers, like when I'm getting rid of storage containers or drawers, I save onto them and you can see I keep my brushes and stuff in them. So that's another thing you can do. You can normally find those like, I don't know, buy trash cans or whatever. I have cardboard boxes stuffs in. So you can at least keep liked item things together, but you're not spending a lot of money. Like I said, most of those things should be free. You already have them. It's broken drawers. They're out by the trash. Just take the ones that aren't broke. And then at least you can put things in them and they're typically clear. So, so far here's our donation pile that we're going to have to take to donate. Even that dog bin is just full of stuff. So we just had so much excess in there we didn't need. We're also going to have to work on this side of the garage. So I just kind of wanted to show you I've been cramming stuff out here. Note those clear containers over there in the left hand corner. I thought about those late one night. But here's just kind of how my shelves are looking and then we'll keep going. Now 
Now we're gonna move on and start working on some drawers. Obviously, this is my light bulb drawer. Yes, it's grouped together of like things, but I could definitely level this up just with a few organizers. So I just grabbed my bin from inside. I've talked about this and all my other organization videos. I never get rid of storage. If I have extra, I just keep it in a bin because I'm going to use it one day, so there's no reason to get rid of it. So I'm just gonna start grouping like bulbs together. So all the same size can start going into bins. So then when we come out here and need a certain light bulb, I know exactly where to go. And then if we start getting low, this is kind of like in your pantry when you have your cereal and clear containers, I can see those bulbs are getting low. I do this with my batteries as well. Those are things you don't want to run out of. So I'm just going to start grouping these together. And then here in a few seconds, you're going to see the after. Look at beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Now we're moving on to the next drawer, which used to just be a glove drawer. And then Chase started putting like all his rope and things to tie in here. It can definitely serve both purposes. I just need to make it work. So you're gonna see me just pull everything out. I'm not really gonna get rid of anything in here when it comes to like garage supplies. I just feel like you can use them if they're not like broken or bad. So especially all the rope, we're always buying things. So I'm just gonna kind of group light things together and then fix all the cords and then you'll see what it looks like at the end it looks so much better and I did use a divider in this one and just so you know it's from the Dollar Tree so you can definitely do this on a low budget if you need help with organization I'm gonna find a crown so I can put it on me swinging from the chandeliers I won't be sorry I got a feeling I'm gonna crash into this party so I'm just not you don't wait to happen like Okay, this next drawer is just all of my extra like towels or rags that I'm not using. Chase likes to have them where when he's changing the oil or fixing something, he can just grab one and it's not like one of my good towels. So I'm gonna work on just refolding these. Sometimes they get out of control and I am gonna display them. Um, a little bit different in the drawer so he can just see more of what we have and which one he wants to grab. I also keep like my old sheets in here. I like to keep this for if I'm spray painting or staining something as well as Savannah. So if she's gonna pull out her paints and stain in the driveway or something, she knows right where to grab the sheets and lay it down so we don't mess up anything. And then here is how that drawer turned out. I'll be the center of attention like I was some kind of astronaut Cause I'm shooting for the moon tonight and I got a feeling I'm gonna crash some stupid party Tear the ceiling down in front of everybody If someone's pulling up a drink I'm we are definitely getting stuff off the list, but we have so much more to do. It can be so overwhelming, especially like when you're knee deep in the process, but just remember at the end, it's gonna be so worth it. And this does not have to get finished in one day. If you're one of those people and you just knock it out, great. If you need a week to get it done, go for it. If you're just gonna work out on weekends, at least you're getting a little step further every time you work on one of the projects. Just make a list and start crossing it off as you go. Chase is gonna cut up this board. We had this left over from our dining room wall makeover and it's just too big to store. So he's gonna go ahead and cut it down for us. And then we had a lot of sawdust and just dirt in the garage from cleaning. So I'm just gonna grab my shot vac and vacuum it all up. If you don't own one of these, you definitely should. They even make mini ones. They're great for like vacuuming out your car and they work so much better than like an indoor handheld vacuum. So I'll link some of these in my Amazon store for you to check out. Sunset. 
So that pile that you're looking at right there, some of that is trash, some of that is donation, and some of that is I just don't know where to put it in my house yet, and I don't want to get rid of it until I'm 100% sure. So I'm just keeping it all out there together until I know exactly what to do. I will say, if you clean your garage, do not forget to look up. We had so many webs that I hadn't even noticed, so we just took that shop back and cleaned it the best we could. And then these white doors were filthy. I always forget to clean out in the garage. Like, I'll clean inside all day long, but and I'll even sweep my garage floors a lot, but I always forget to wipe things down, so definitely don't skip that step when you're, you know, organizing. Definitely make sure to clean it too. For the next areas, I definitely needed a chase. There's a lot of areas you're gonna work on in your home and you can't do it alone. This is like Chase's tools. This is his equipment. I don't know what we can keep, what we need to get rid of, what's just excess. So definitely pull your family out if you need them. You would hate to get rid of something that they use all the time. But then there was so much stuff we were able to get rid of that I thought he would want to keep. So definitely just let him out there and then you can work on it together. Everything was so dusty, so you'll just see me using my rags and cleaners. There's no reason to put your nice, clean, organized items onto a dirty shelf. Every step matters, especially when you're doing it on a budget. So definitely take the time just to do all those little things, and I promise you they will add up. Okay, so now we're on to the next day. We got tired that night. There was football games on, so we went inside and took a break, but this is the next day. I did go back out there around 9.30. It clicked that we had all those empty plastic bins that I was referring to earlier. Um, we had them from our Traeger and we had extra like pellets in them, but they were empty. So I went ahead and grabbed those and started using them to put all my paints in. So here's what it looks like. Um, and I just took off obviously the apple or whatever it was and started filling them up with the paints. It looks so much better. I think we picked those up from Target. I'll try to link them down below my description box, but that already did level up and we're gonna do something again over there. So don't click off yet. Now I'm gonna show you in the rest of the drawers so you can see what we're gonna be working on today, which is day two. So Chase is gonna start working on his red toolbox now, but I could not help myself. I needed one more of these containers. It still had pellets in it, but I took it inside and put it in another container because I wanted this one that bad. So I had four matching ones on the shelf. I am gonna label these later, so definitely don't click off. They look amazing. I'm in love with the way it turned out, but as you can just see as I'm leveling up, it looked good before when nothing was in containers. Then it looked good when it was in clear containers that were like old drawers, what it was in previously. And if you wanna spend a little bit of a budget and buy containers with lids, it keeps them nice and safe and bug free and dust free. It looks even better. So choose your budget, know your budget, and just do what you can, but it definitely levels it up. Now I'm gonna sweep a little bit just from organizing that closet and Savannah's helping me, Chase is helping. When you're organizing the garage, I think you definitely need like all hands on deck.
in the video, I went ahead and vacuumed around the entire ceiling because of all like the cobwebs and just bugs, but I forgot to do it around the actual like garage door opener itself and it had quite a bit. So I went ahead and just took a few moments to go ahead and clean that. If you can skip on these projects, you can, but the reveal at the end is just never as good. When you completely finish a project and you've done everything, it's just so rewarding and it looks so much better versus seeing like a nice organized closet and then cobwebs. So definitely just take your time and those little touches add up. I'm gonna keep saying that because that's how much they do. Um, I wanted to show you over here, Chase is still working. We're still going through stuff. We're bad that we had organization, but we weren't using it. We were just throwing in extra stuff into any drawer, as you can tell right here. So we're really just trying to find everything a home like we do on the inside of our house. After a little decluttering and after a little organizing, these are how the drawers look. Obviously, they're not perfect. This garage is never going to be like Pinterest worthy. I just don't think I'd ever invest all the money into my garage. Maybe I will one day. Who knows? Never say never. But for now, we were just trying to do it on a budget and we are so happy that we can just see everything we have. But now we're moving on to some of these bigger drawers. Everything was just a mess. We had so much in there and nothing made sense, which literally just drives me crazy. So being able just to pull everything out and start over, it just all looks so good. I catch myself going in the garage just to open drawers. Like that's how good it looks. That's how much better it makes me feel. So tackling these jobs sometimes can be overwhelming, but it's gonna give you such a sense of relief when it's done and over and finished. Now I'm going to show you inside these drawers so you can kind of see an after. Most of this was just laying it out, you know, a little bit better. Grouping the same kind of stuff together, making sure everything has a place, it's not like stacked up. Um, there was a lot of drawers Chase just hadn't got around to organizing, like the next two I'm going to show you right here. He had never put everything in the spot that it belongs, and he had been wanting to for so long, but it's just something hard to get started, but once you do, it's so worth it. And now when he needs, you know, a specific tool, he knows exactly where to go to find it. Now I went back inside to make some labels. So I didn't want to do like the individual letters. I knew it would take a while to put it on each container and some of them have like holes in them. So I just printed, basically you can put a marker into this, like it comes with them. And then I printed on paper. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have this Cricut and I am loving it. Like it levels up every project I have. I'll leave the link down below to it. I think they're like on Amazon, they have a website. I don't know, they're amazing. And then I just use this cutter and cut it out and then I'm just gonna tape them on with um, shipping tape. You're gonna see that in the next slide. But it just made the space so much better. So no matter what you do, add labels. Even if you grab a paper with a Sharpie and just do pretty handwriting, do the best you can and tape it on there, I promise you it's going to look so much better. Do not skip this step. Just in case you forgot, this is the before picture of how it started out. 
and here is the after and let me remind you I spent zero dollars this was all stuff I already had out in my garage or in my home and I'm gonna show you the rest of everything so you can see how all the spaces have turned out I know it doesn't look like much here on the screen, but we had so much that we took to the donation center. So we were so excited to be able to donate that and clear out the space. But I'm telling you, all of these spaces look so much better. I know on camera it can still be messy. It's still a garage. It's still tools. There's still a lot of color for me, but it just looks and feels so much better. Now when we walk out or we pull in our garage from coming home, I used to be like disgusted. I was like, oh, I hated pulling in there. I hated getting in my car and pulling out. Now it's so fun to like come home and raise the garage door and to be able to just see our nice clean space. I am going to blow out the garage real fast. I talk about this blower a lot. I love it because I can actually use it. Chase has always had blowers that I can't use. I love that I can just pick this up and turn it on and use it. So we have that linked down below in our Amazon store. And then I wanted to share with you this one little area. I've always kept this like kids table. Obviously we have bug spray just because Savannah's older, but then it's just easy for kids to grab and go. They don't have to like walk all the way to the back of the garage and get into the closet, but I just keep bins right here. Um, I spent zero dollars on that. That was all free stuff from like people's curbs or driveways and it's always been so helpful. All the kids in the neighborhood know they can go right there and pick up anything they need. And then here is one last look at our nice cleanish garage. <laughs> If you watched today's whole video, thank you so much for making it to this point. It is so helpful. You can also hit that like button down below. It helps me out as well. And I hope you guys have an incredible week and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.